Whether you're speaking to one person or 1,000 people, there are five key things you need to know for communication mastery. And fortunately for you, that's what we're discussing in this week's video. Hey there, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com. Welcome to this week's episode. And it's about the five critical things you need to know about getting your point across. It's about communication mastery. And speaking of mastery, please give us a like, leave a comment below this video, and oh, by all means, feel free to share it. So the five things. Number one, before you get started, let's understand this, that people can process information at 800 words per minute. Yet we communicate at 200 words words per minute. There is a gap there. So if you're not playing your voice like a fiddle, if you're not being dynamic and varying the tones, moving your hands, being uh, expressive with the way you communicate, people will turn off and they'll wander away. Now they may be looking right at you, but they're not paying any attention. So remember this point. We communicate at 200 words per minute. People process at four times that amount, 800 words per minute. You've got to be expressive. You've got to communicate with passion. Point number two is you want to make sure that you're getting feedback and input. So if I'm standing up front of a group of a thousand people, I'll ask questions like, hey, are you with me? Does this make sense to you? Do you get it? Any questions? I'll ask for that feedback because based on the response I get, that tells me if I'm on the right track, do I have to alter the way I'm talking? Do I have to add more information? It keeps me accountable, but like I said, it keeps me focused on what I have to deliver. Point number three is if you want to be confident, if you want to eliminate the fear of public speaking or even speaking to one person, be prepared. If you know what you're talking about, if you know what the intent of the conversation is, literally what we're doing is we're taking the fear out of the equation. And fear is the fear of the unknown. So if you take the unknown to the known, as Tony Jerry says it, the unknown to the known, you eliminate that fear and now you can speak with confidence. Point number four, be real, be yourself and tell the truth. If you can do those three things, you'll never have to worry about what you said. Now, will people agree with you every time? Heck no. But if you're true to yourself, you speak the truth, you're confident, that's all it takes. And certain people will resonate, certain people won't, it doesn't matter. Your message is trying to get through to the people that are on your side. And point number five is always deliver value always deliver value. Is there something that you can add? If, it, if this is in context of uh, speaking to a group of people, can I have handouts for them when they come in that will have uh, bullet points of what I'm talking about? Can I direct them to go to my website to download a special report or to get an audio or something of value? So the whole thing here, the concept is I under promise, but I over deliver. Make sure that when you're speaking to a person or people that when they leave that conversation, they feel the same, same way, that you've given them value, that you've under promise, yet you've over-delivered. So once again, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com. Five points for communication mastery. I hope you found this effective and that you'll use them. And by all means, leave us a comment on how this works for you.